Hello and welcome to day six of 10 days of Halloween. Days are flying by and we are already halfway through with only four days left before the giveaway competition is complete. Learn how you can win by watching my special announcement video or read all about it in the description box below. Today, I'm gonna be making this fun brain jello. And to make this, you're gonna need a brain mold. I found this one at Walmart and I also seen it at Target and even Long's. I'm gonna use strawberry jello, some heavy whipping cream, sweetened condensed milk, and some whole milk. The first thing you wanna do is heat your three cups of milk on low heat. You want to wait until it starts to simmer. Once it simmers, remove it from heat and let it cool for about five minutes. Once it has cooled down a bit, go ahead and add nine ounces of your jello mixture. Nine ounces is equivalent to three small packs or one small pack and one big pack. Again, I am using strawberry. You can also use cherry or raspberry if you like those flavors better. You just need to make sure that it's pink or red. For a smoother consistency and to remove lumps, pour it through a strainer. Now we're gonna add the creamy elements. Add one can of sweetened condensed milk and one and a half cups of heavy cream. These two ingredients will give the jello the creamsicle flavor. And to ensure that I mix this well, I used an electric hand mixer and well. It was kind of a bad idea. It splattered everywhere, so I moved it to the sink and then I splattered it all over my clean dishes in the drying rack. It was a mess. I say just learn from my mistake and hand whisk the darn thing. After that nightmare, go ahead and prep your mold by spraying it with a little bit of oil and wiping it down with a paper towel. This will make it so much easier for you to remove the jello from the mold. Go ahead and set this in the refrigerator for a minimum of six hours. I should also let you know that if you don't like the creamsicle flavor, you can use just regular jello, but I would cut down the amount of water and you'll probably use an extra pack of jello to fill up the mold. That way, the gelatin will be a little more firm so that it holds its shape. So, after a day of setting in the refrigerator, I'm now gonna remove it from its mold. And what I did there was just release the pressure from the sides and then it popped out very easily. For a little added fun, I placed the brain jello on top of a raised platter and then I threw in some gummy worms. And this makes a great centerpiece or just a fun dessert platter for any Halloween party. I hope this video sparked some of your interest to kickstart your Halloween planning if you haven't already. Don't forget to like this video to be in the running of the prize giveaway and make sure you caught today's secret word. Don't forget to subscribe and set your notification bell to all so that you are notified when a new video is published. Thank you so much for watching. Check back tomorrow for another secret word and day 7 of 10 days of Halloween.